Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry, how I ball Gosha gonna send a white three on my body I'm an icon, man And my girl about a ten I should fuck her in the best Make you say that this video starts I was actually going through my feed Before I rendered the video And I saw this It's basically a leak of the New snow map That's, if I'm not mistaken It's supposed to launch sometime in November I don't know how accurate this map is it was just something that I, I came across so I'm not gonna sit here and say this is what it's gonna look like or anything like that but I think it looks pretty dope if that's gonna be the actual size I really hope that they're gonna keep it at the same size kind of like Sandhawk so I mean I don't know I just wanted to add that into the video and again I'm not sure how trustworthy this source is I'm gonna do more research it looks pretty legit but as soon as I figure out anything more I'll definitely let you guys know but I just really wanted to add this into the video I think it looks pretty cool Anyway, guys, I'm going to get straight back into the video. I appreciate any support. Peace. We are back at it again with another PUBG video. And today, I'm just going to go over the community post that they have, PUBG re developers have released. Talking about the ongoing issues within the 1.0 version. So to me, I felt like Sandhawk ran really smooth, but I also have begun to notice the frame drops. And I'm running on an X1 xbox one x and i don't feel like that should happen but that has been an issue as you guys know i do 2k and pubg content so 2k just released a few days ago that's mainly what i've been grinding on i did happen to play this the other the other night for about 30 minutes or so i mean it's still being lit the map is lit and everything like that i just i've really been grinding on 2k just so i can get my player but if you're new hit that sub button and hit that like button as well it really helps me out and just leave me a comment and let me know if you've been experiencing any of these issues as well i really hope that it's something that they can fix soon but i feel like pubg is a really good has a really good gaming community community and then the, the developers do a really good job of trying to at least fix issues and they're really they do a really good job of communicating to the gaming community as well so i feel like these are issues as, uh, that's eventually going to get fixed i mean they did re just release a brand new map to the game with skins in crates and the uh sandhawk pass and stuff like that so i knew there would be issues so i'm really not tripping over that i know that they're working on it the best that they can so in this community post they just um basically said there was an issue with achievement achievements and I know that I've gotten a few, but some of them haven't actually been unlocked unlocked either that I've already completed. So they just say there is currently an ongoing issue with achievements not being unlocked upon completing the requirements. And guys, I'm not going to read the whole community post. It's kind of a lot. And I know you guys don't want to hear that. I'm just going to summarize it and give you the most important parts. It says, shortly after the 1.0 launch, there was an error that caused many achievement unlocks to be delayed. In addition, we were able to retroactively unlock some achieve achievements for our, for our players that had completed them in game preview. They said they are investigating issues with other achieve achievements not popping at all upon completion and they basically just said we appreciate everyone's patience. So the biggest thing for me in this was the Xbox One X performance issues. They said may many of our players who play on the Xbox One X are seeing a multiple multitude of performance issues while they are playing the game one of the biz biggest issues that we are currently investigating are the frame drops while playing specifically many players are experiencing major frame rate drops during gunfights or during ads this is very true i've experienced this a lot it's really annoying and it kind of it kind of it makes it really hard to aim too whenever whenever i'm in a gunfight and i start shooting or the enemy starts shooting at me it's really hard to see to shoot back because the frames just constantly drop that's the only issue i've experienced from sandhawk though i feel like for the most part the game has ran extremely smooth and um, they said they are currently looking into different ways to fix the issues to stabilize frame rates in these situations and they apologize for any frustration um they basically said that the issue is from where the xbox one x uses higher resolution textures and requires more graphics options to output better overall visual quality and then they stated that that could be the reason why the lowered frame rates happen, especially during heavy resource situations like gunfights. Uh, they talk about these survivor and crates as well. They said we've investigated reports of survivor and 
Wonder crates disappearing from the inventory. The item IDs of these crates were changed with the 1.0 launch, which caused this issue to occur for players who purchased these crates pre 1.0. They are basically just saying we will be deploying a fix for this sometime next week. Please know that the players who are experiencing this issue will see two types of survivor and wonder crates in the game. One of which are pre 1.0 crates and the other are post 1.0 crates. So it just sounds like they're having an issue with the crate. It looks like they changed something with it. So when the 1.0 launch and you were playing before that, a lot of those disappeared. But hopefully the patch next week will get that resolved as well. Another issue that I've seen a lot is the lo lost connection to host. Basically, after a game or so, it will actually, whenever you load into a game, it'll say lost connection to host. And one of the one or more of the players will have to be jump started back to the main menu, causing everybody else to quit out and go back to the main menu as well. They are basically saying that we've seen many reports of that issue saying lost connection to host and when trying to get into a match. They're saying this er error is happening due to sessions not up updating during matchmaking after multiple sessions were initiated, then cancelled. For example, if a player player solo queued cancelled duo queued and then joined the game after the match was created the error would occur and they're testing out a hotfix to roll out to hope have an update for that as well they said they're experiencing issues with the event pass on sandhawk as well they said we hope that everyone has been enjoying the event pass that we've launched on 1.0 to celebrate celebrate the new map sandhawk if you haven't visited our neat area yet be sure to check it out here while many players have been leveling up completing missions and making their way through the event pass there have been some confusion and questions that we wanted to help clear that up it says why is there a max daily xp limit they and they go on to answer the daily xp limit only applies to survival all the time during games it is calculated as 1 xp per 2.5 minutes this is a double for premium pass users and they say do you need to buy the event pass in order to place an hawk and the answer to that is no and it says how often will we have event pass every month event pass Saint hawk was created to celebrate the release of our third match Saint hawk we don't have many details to share at this moment about our future plans with event passes so i hope they continue to update the event pass come out with new items that we can get i think that'd be really cool and just keep the game fresh as well and then it says are there any temporary rewards in the event pass and they would come back and answer there are no temporary rewards in the event pass except for xp boost they basically go on to, to thank everyone who played 1.0 this week and that they are continuing to bring more content and bug fixes to the game and they also want to have our feedback to let them know about any bugs that they may or may not be aware of and then they basically to go on and say thanks from the PUBG xbox team so there you have it guys that is all the issues that have been going on with PUBG as of right now and then I'm pretty sure this patch is going to launch sometime at the first of the week. My guess is it, it seems like they generally launch it Monday on Mondays. So be looking out for that tomorrow. That is a possibility or could fall later in the week. I haven't heard any specific details yet, but if I do find that out, I would definitely let you guys know. But that's really all I have uh, uh, for PUBG today. I will continue to play and let you guys know of any uh, future bug issues. I stream on Twitch regularly, whether it be PUBG or 2K. That will be in the link down in the description below. I'd really appreciate any support on that. And then, like I said, if you're new, hit that sub button, hit that like button, and just leave me a comment. Let me know of any issues that you may be experiencing. Other than that, guys, I'm out for the day. Peace.